everyone. I'm Irene. This is Perpetually Paperback, and today I'm going to be talking about The Tenant by Katherine Engberg. Okay, so recently I've I talked about it recently, but I've been on this huge reading like frenzy. I've just been like reading like crazy lately. Um, both physical books, audiobooks. Um, this happened to be an audiobook that I recently read. And it was The Tenant by Katherine Engberg. I gave it three stars. I heard it through Scribd uh, when it was available. And I don't remember why. I think I heard I heard one of the booktubers, some, one booktuber said that they enjoyed it. And I don't think they said anything outstanding about it. They were just like, I enjoyed this book. In comparison to another one they really didn't like. And I don't know why I took that as like, oh, this was a great book. And it was a, it's a mystery. It was translated from Danish? It's set in Copenhagen and it follows this. Okay, and I'm, for anyone that actually read the book, I heard it, so I can only go based off the names that they were that were said. I later read some reviews and I was like, oh, those were the names, okay. So it follows this inspector named Yeppe and he has just gotten out of a marriage. He's really broken up about that. Um, and he's working with his somewhat disgruntled, or his like, we somewhat get along like um they're sort of frenemies but like more friends than enemies if anything this inspector this other detective named Annetta and essentially they get called to this home where this girl named Julia is found dead by one of the other tenants so they begin interviewing everyone and all the usual suspects uh one of them is Esther she is the landlord of the actual tenant building along with a up and coming, I don't even want to say up and coming, she's this retired teacher who is sort of trying her hand at, at writing and she's in this writer's group. She begins to get really nervous fairly early on because the murder of Yulia is played out exactly the same way as she wrote it in her book. Um, there's tons of red herrings throughout this book. As you're kind of reading it, you're constantly thinking it's the next person. You also get a lot of differing perspectives, which is kind of cool, but for me on the audiobook, it was kind of like, I should also say maybe sometimes I should probably pay a little more attention when I'm actually reading these. As I was reading it, you kind of get different perspectives. So you're starting out with, you start out with not even Yepe. You come back to Yepe from time to time, but you get the perspective of Esther, you get an Aneta, you get some of the other players in this game. And in the audiobook, at least at the beginning, and actually sometimes at the end, it kind of felt a little awkward as the shift would go, which obviously I think it was, I was reading the physical book, that wouldn't be such an issue. But sometimes I found that in the audiobook, it, become, it became a little bit difficult to figure out who was talking and what was happening because of the shifts. Um, and I, there could have been chapter headings possibly, or I mean, at the very least, it would have been a little bit more obvious of a change, I'm assuming, versus just like mid sentence or mid you know paragraph kind of going off over. anyway I digress so that wasn't something I was super into um as you are listening to the book and as the tech the detectives are kind of finding out you get other people in the writing group you get people that she may have known that were also associated with others they were, everyone was kind of interconnected for the most part um you get these there were tons of red herrings and normally I think that would be really great. This one was just kind of, eh. It wasn't particularly bad. It wasn't particularly good. It wasn't particularly gripping, I would say. Everything about it was just kind of like middle of the road. Everything was fine. Um, by the, I, I think it, it wasn't a really long audiobook and I don't remember how or why I got through it so quickly, but I just like zoomed through it. But at some point I was just like, I don't even really care what's happening. I just want to know who killed the girl. And there was certain side plots, like there was a whole relationship that Yippe had and it wasn't even a relationship. It was just kind of like this weird rebound romance that just didn't fit for me in any part of it and just was just weird that it, it didn't progress the story at all it didn't if anything it was kind of like an oddly confusing bit or just kind of it was just it was it just sat really weird in in relation to where it was in the plot it, like I said it didn't move anything along it was also in the middle of this whole plot point that was 
it didn't make any sense with what else was happening in the book so much that it really just distracted for me. Um, by the end of it, when they actually found out who did it, I didn't care. It was like, oh, okay. Um, yeah, I don't know if it was maybe a translation issue where maybe if it was translated by someone else, it could have been slightly more interesting. Um, there was something really wrong with it. I just didn't find it super interesting. Yeah, I don't know. It wasn't bad. I mean, it was fine. It was a quick read. If you're just looking for something that's like a quick mystery, I just didn't find it very interesting. Then also, like, there weren't a lot of good characters, which I don't necessarily find crazy off-putting. Like, I can totally read a book with characters that are not likable. But because there was, like, no one likable in this book, it really just was not great. I don't know. Maybe I gotta change this one to two stars, guys. The more I'm talking it out, the more I'm like, oh, that was just... It's not good. But I mean, ultimately, at the end of the day, I was fairly entertained. Maybe because I, maybe because it was the perfect circumstances and I read it so quickly, I ended up giving it three stars. So I would say maybe if you're going to read it, probably get through it pretty quick. Don't like drag it on. I imagine if you're dragging it on, this would not be a great one. Anyway, so that was The Tenant by Katherine Engberg, guys. All right, see you next time.